Uh, it feels great. This, this is what I came here for. Uh, if somebody would tell me, hey, you'll go in, you'll have a good game, but you won't score, but you guys will come out with the W, I would say, hey, that's what I'm here for. So at the end of the day, as long as we win, it doesn't matter who's putting the points up on the board as long as the points are being put up. As someone who's been on a lot of good teams, how good do you think this team is? Uh, I think this team is really good, um, but at the same time, never too high, never too low. Um, I think we have a good understanding of that. Uh, and just putting one foot in front of the other and continue to stack success. Um, that's what's got a, gotten us here before anybody was talking about us or gave us, giving us a shot. Um, we believed in ourselves, so just continue to do that. And, con uh, and the reason we can do that is because of the work that we've been able to put in our preparation. What was, what was going through your mind pregame, seeing as many people as you did? Like, what was that like? Uh, just just uh, like a full circle moment, knowing that uh, everything that I do on the field is cool, but uh, you're, I'm kind of remembered for what, I, what I've done off the field in this community. And I think that says a, a lot about me. And um, I think that's one of the things that I'm kind of most happiest about because one day they're going to forget about you uh, in this football, football world. Uh, say 100 years from now, 200 years, they're going to have other players. You, they, they're not even going to know your name, but it's the stamp that you leave in the community and what you do off the field that people remember your legacy. So um, I, I think I left a pretty big legacy. Uh, my mom called me and was like, hey, they have a couple beer billboards up of you around here. Um, so I, they really touched my heart as well. You talked about how you all believed in yourselves even when other people were doubting, people from the outside were doubting this team. What, when you were signed here, what was it that gave you confidence that you all could win here? Uh, all the weapons uh, that they had, KLC as well, um, just just being his just his system, um, and then getting to be around him, how he instills confidence in every single person around him, um, from the way he runs his practices to everything. Uh, it's been a blessing to be a Minnesota Viking, and I'm I, I, I feel like I made the best decision. Aaron, one last thing about uh, Green Bay. So you got your leap at the end. I watched you walk off the field, all the hugs with folks, and you you did get your leap, didn't you? I did get my leap. Uh, it, it was kind of funny because as we were taking that last nail, uh, the def the Packers defense, they're like, ah, we didn't let you Lambo leap here. We didn't let you Lambo leap in our house. And I'm like, you guys are worried about me Lambo leaping. You guys should be worried about the score. Uh, I came here and got what I wanted. So, um, But I did get my Lambo leap in, so uh, I got a two for one. Just didn't score, but I still got the Lambo leap. So um, it, it was it was special. What do you think of the Justin sideline catch, the touchdown catch, some of the plays that made today? That's that's what makes him special. I feel like that's what separates him from other receive uh, a lot of receivers in the game. Um, that was a that was a gotta have it moment uh, on that sideline one, and he he made sure he went and got it. And uh, the refs kind of didn't call it correctly, and luckily we had another challenge and it got overturned. Um, but. Kudos to all of our receivers, Jay, making plays as well. Uh, happy to have him back. And we just got a, we got a nice room over there in that receiver room. Aaron, you've been a part of some pretty good offenses. Where does this one rank even without TJ Hawkins in the back? Uh, he's right up there with, with the best of them, you know. Um, and I feel like we're only going to continue to get better, and that's what I'm most excited about. Uh, we're still, we're still kind of new all of us working together as one so uh the more that we, the more snaps that we get under our belt the more we're going to continue to match the better we're going to look out there yeah, when they cut it to six what stood out about sam's poise in the auto and the way he kind of drove me down the field for those uh he just he just let everybody know hey one play at a time uh we gotta have it now um we we practice gotta have it situations in in practice, but this is a situation where we, where we got to go get it. Um, nothing less than points on the board, um, but one play at a time. He kept preaching that, and um, he was like, if you got any questions, ask me. <laughs> so, um, no, but uh, he, he did a great job commanding that, and then he, even at the end, uh, when we kicked the field goal, he was like, hey, we get three here, we're up two scores. Um, just protect the ball. So just Remind you of those little small things, protect the ball, knowing that they're going to be punching at it, uh, making sure we're good in protection, all those small things so we can go out there and have a clean operation. On that possession and then later going front fourth, Kevin said he wanted you guys to know that he was going to be aggressive. 
and he believed in you and confident in you guys. And I'm just curious how that's sort of absorbed by the players. When uh, I mean, I don't know if he said it, but obviously he's demonstrating it. Oh no, he's definitely demonstrating it, and it's like, hey, we're gonna put the game in you, you guys' hands. I trust you guys that much to go out and execute. Um, I think that says a it says a lot about coach and the trust that he has in us and uh, the belief that we have in him and the trust that we have in him as well for. Him to call a play, us to go execute, and him to call, you know, um, and him to have that faith in us. What does it mean for t- to you to, to hear, to feel that uh, from, from the coach? Uh, it, it means everything. Uh, I love, I love playing for Kevin, uh, KOC. He's he's been he's been everything to me. He's helped me so much uh, in my short time here, and uh, I'm I'm glad I made the decision to come here. Uh, he's he's definitely a, a special coach. How did you balance all the emotions that had to be in you today? Uh, I think I kind of just kind of tried to block him out. Um, it kind of hit me when, a little when I see my mom on the sideline. She was the one kind of tearing up, and I'm like, oh, great, Mom. <laughs> uh, uh, but I, that was like after warm-ups, and then I kind of ran, and I was like kind of one of the last ones to run in, and the crowd kind of showed me some love there, and that's why I could, I could feel it a little bit. But uh, the the best, feel, like I would say, I felt it the most after when the clock hit zero um, coming in here. Uh, to get one job done, and that was to win this game. Um, being back here meant a lot to me. But uh, at the end of the day, it was a division opponent, a North opponent, and it, it counts double in the division. So uh, we wanted to make sure we checked that box as well. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.